Welcome to this video of explainingmavs.com and we're still looking at, um, at travel graphs and we have done the distance time graphs and now we're moving on to speed time graphs and I want to emphasize again the importance that you distinguish between speed time and distance time graphs yeah? where a horizontal line for my speed time graph means a constant speed where if this would be a distance time graph it is also a constant speed but that speed is going to be zero because I'm standing still. But that's not the case in this uh, or for this question. Okay, let's have a look at um, the questions we're going to answer now. What is the car's maximum speed? How long does the car travel at a constant speed? When is the car accelerating the most? And finally, what is the rate of deceleration? Yes? And these are all important questions. Now, first of all, what is the car's maximum speed? Now, considering this is a speed time graph, the maximum speed uh, the car has between this moment of time and that moment of time, and that is 60 kilometers per hour. And again, and I'm repeating myself, but that doesn't matter because it is in important is that that horizontal line for a distance time graph would mean that the person is standing still. He's not moving, the distance isn't changing. However, speed time, it's his maximum speed. There's no speed higher than that. Okay, how long does the car travel at a constant speed? Well, constant speed for distance time graphs would be here, here, and I'm going back home there. <clears throat> but for a speed time graph, constant speed are the horizontal lines. The speed isn't changing, it's constant. So it's one hour here. <coughs> Excuse me, and from two and a half up to four, so it's one and a half hours there. So in total, one and one and a half. So for two and a half hours, the car is traveling at constant speed. Okay, when is the car accelerating the most? <clears throat> and you realize that the acceleration for a speed time graph is given by the gradient of, of, of the graph. Okay. My speed is zero, my speed is 30 in one hour and I'm accelerating, I'm giving gas, I'm going faster, faster and faster. Okay, and what is the gradient here? Well, the, um, what should I say, the, the vertical, eh? so the, the vertical difference, eh? y2 minus y1 over the horizontal difference, x2 minus x1, if you do that properly, you're going to get 30. And that is, the unit is kilometers per hour squared in this case. I forget the unit, but the acceleration is, let's say, 30. But as you perhaps already see, this line is steeper. Do you see that? This line is a lot steeper. So trust me, this acceleration is going to be more than for this part. But let's find out how much more. Um, in half an hour, it is from 30 to 60, so that's a vertical difference of 30. So in one hour, where a gradient is one unit to the right, how many do you go up? It's going to be 60 kilometers per hour squared. So if the question is, when is the car accelerating the most? That is from two to two and a half hours, yeah? In that period of time, the car is accelerating the most. Okay, and that's because the line is steepest. What is the rate of deceleration? Well, again, for a distance time graph, this means you turn around, you go back home. But for a speed time graph, this means I am decelerating. My speed is becoming less, I'm probably braking, but I'm still moving forwards. I'm still going forwards, guys. I didn't turn around, I'm not going home. I just have to brake. Okay, what is the rate of deceleration? now? Again, you have to find a gradient, a negative gradient, yes, because it's going to be yeah, a deceleration, it should like a negative acceleration, yeah? So we're going to find the gradient, uh, the vertical difference is 60 over the horizontal difference from 4 to 5, which is 1. So, yeah, it is uh, minus 60 kilometers per hour squared, that hardly fits, yeah? acceleration so the rate of deceleration you could say because deceleration already implies that you're slowing down you could say it's 60 kilometers per hour squared decelerating going slower but still going forward good if this was useful guys 
um, like and share it, yeah? then I can also help your friends. And you can check my site explainingmaths.com for more free resources. And my next video, we're going to have a look at what that area underneath this graph tells us. Hope to see you there. I wish you a good evening. Bye-bye.